Welcome, I'm Carlos Montoro and this is Sanjuda Guitars. In this video series I'm trying to restore this uh, 120 years old guitar that was made in an island in Spain called Mallorca. The year was uh, 1901 and more than a century after that the guitar was moved to Madrid and because of the difference in the humidity environment it dried and cracks started to appear all over the place. So now is my duty to disassemble, to fix and to reassemble this guitar. And it has been a long run. This guitar came to me even before the pandemic started. So I have to say that we are kind of close friends now. The first video of this series was released in uh, May the 7th of 2021, more than two years ago. I guess I'm remembering all of this because I am kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel, but there is still a long way to go. And to be honest, I even today don't know if this restoration is going to be successful. So if by perchance you are new to this series, I recommend you to watch the older videos because this has been a long run. But uh, let's focus on what we have ahead, shall we? Now if you remember, I'm dealing with the cracks in the top of the guitar. In the previous video, I take care of the right side of the top of the guitar, let's say. And in this one, I'm going to take care of this uh, big crack that you are watching now. There is also another big crack in this side of the guitar, but that one is going to be dealt in the future. Now what I'm doing is to remove the old blocks that uh, were the support of the crack. This comes from a previous restoration. Uh, well, maybe restoration is a big word for this, let's say it's just a repair, but uh, they weren't the proper wood and uh, they weren't in the proper size and uh, they didn't even use the proper glue. I know I can't do better and it's now my task to repair this crack uh, the best as possible. The glue used to fix these uh, three blocks is white glue and it's not the right choice. It's not thought to be reversible, so removing it is um, a very hard task. Also, it tends to be transparent. Applying hot water to the glue is going to make two things. One, it's going to soften it a little bit, and second, it's going to make it visible again, because when the white glue is dry, it tends to be transparent. This glue is not something that you can wipe off, you have to scratch it. And uh, scratch uh, glue from a top of a guitar that is more than 120 years old, it's a delicate business. It took me some time to feel confident with this technique. I have to make a lot of tests in the scrap wood. I also tried a lot of tools from scapels to chisels to knives and finally I end up using the same spatula that I used to remove the blocks. Now most of this area is clean. It's everything but a little bit here and under this block. And I'm going to keep this uh, in place for a reason. The reason is that the crack is open. I like this to be as stable as possible. As soon as I remove this, this side of the top of the guitar is going to move freely. And that's something that uh, I'm going to avoid uh, as far as I can. Now uh, what I'm going to do is to make the new blocks that are going to substitute the older ones. Set everything as far as I can before removing this. This is going to be the last. Then I'm going to remove this and clean everything and glue the piece of lining in here. 
I'm afraid that I have to talk about this side a little bit. Now that I've cleaned the other side, I know that I can make a better work in here. These dark areas can be cleaned. There are always going to be these clear areas, um, just because they didn't receive uh, as many sunlight as the other ones. But um, I think I can make it uh, a little bit better. And as I have to clean the residue of the height glue, yeah, this side can be a little bit more clean.
Now this is the final test before gluing. The goal of this test is to set up everything just the way you do when you're gluing everything but without glue. So we have all the go bars and three of the four blocks that I'm going to use in the crack. But uh, mm, this helps me to find uh, problems because if I glue all everything in place it's not something that is not reversible. But if you can do it right in a go, it's better than twice. So the problem here is that I have made these blocks to help me uh, to apply lateral pressure with the clamp, you can see here. Um, but the crack is going up to this point. So this area here doesn't have much lateral pressure. These blocks here were thought to, to be used in that lateral pressure with another clamp. But there is no room for another clamp because uh, the sides are in the way. So what I need to do is to make these uh, blocks to go up here and to find a way um, that I can place the clamps down the guitar. But I have something in mind that uh, probably will work. I have to say that I don't get used to how many work I have to do before gluing anything. This video, for example, is all about just one crack and it took me weeks to finally glue it. But as I said before, I am not an expert in this subject. I have built uh, electric guitars, basses, but this classical restoration is way beyond my knowledge. So I have to fill that gap with time and patience and this work is by nature all about patience. As you can see, I made uh, the new helping blocks for the lateral pressure. And those goes right from the middle of the guitar, close to the bottom of it. They are big, but uh, now I can apply the lateral pressure that I need to close the gap in the crack. Also, the clamps are now placed below the solera and I made a simple platform with some scrap wood to raise the solera a little bit so I can place the clamps down there. The height glue is right off camera and that is also something that I prepare better and better every time. One little trick that I've learned during this project is that if instead of uh, applying glue to the block and right after uh, pressing down with the go bar, which makes the block unstable and it easily move out of its place. Instead of that, you can apply glue to the block, place it and then wait a little bit just to let the glue to settle for a few moments and then apply the downforce with the go bar. This way the block is not going to be so easily moved by the go bar. So finally as a result I have this forest of go bars. And this is a tricky moment because this has to be like this for a lot of hours. Now it's all about waiting for another few hours. And uh, this is the final result. All the blocks are in place and I have to say that uh, as I'm doing this more and more, I am improving my skills because these new blocks here are better placed than these ones here. That's because uh, I'm learning how to work with the glue better and better and with the covers. So this side is um, almost finished, but I have to take care of this uh, side here, which uh, there are a couple of cracks that are about to be opened and this one here but that is going to be subject for the next video this is what i had a few weeks ago 
you can see clearly those cracks that are not fixed yet those ugly three blocks in the downside of the guitar and this is how it is now this is still a long way to go but you can see clearly that the blocks are small and in place and they are made from the correct wood and glued with the correct glue watching this makes me feel great i'm confident and and i started to think that maybe there is light at the end of the tunnel i hope you like this video series and see you soon bye